Hello dear friends, Airport Authority of India, that is Amini Ratna PSU, has come up with a bumper vacancy through a separate written test in which the fourth year students are also eligible and it has come up in the post of total 496 posts guys. Okay, including 199 for general category, 449 for EWS, 140 for OBC and 75 for SC and 33 for ST. In its wing, ATC. Okay, now what is ATC? What is the pattern? What is the cutoff? Guys, complete detail will I will be giving in this session, guys. I have made the PPT also, which includes the pattern and the previous year cutoffs. Fourth year students are eligible, subjected to that on the date of verification, they should be posting their uh, documents. Okay, and separate written exam will be there, guys. What is the pattern? I'll tell you soon. Total 496 seats. You can fill the form with 1000 rupees is the application form and written, days, written test date is not announced. It will be announced soon. We'll let you know. Now, what is the eligibility? So, either you are a B.Tech or you are a B.Sc. from Physics or Maths. Okay. So, B.Tech of any branch is applicable, guys. Right now, I was talking to one of my students and uh, he is working in ATC in Imphal, Manipur. Okay. So, he told me that uh, although B.Sc. students are eligible, but due to the pattern, I will tell you soon, mostly 99% students, uh, those who are selected in his batch, his was a recent batch conducted last year. So all the students mostly are from engineering background and all disciplines mostly say the students who are there are from civil, mechanical and electronics. Okay, now guys, uh, the maximum age should on 30th November 2023 is 27 years. That is the maximum age. Nothing, no, nothing written about the minimum age. And guys, it will be a written test. Uh, you can fill the form for 1000 rupees for SCST, PWG, there is no fees. And on 1st of 11, uh, uh, November, the form is released and you can fill it up to 30th November. Okay, so pay level is equivalent to all of the PSUs guys. Okay, so this is the pay level 40,000 to 1,40,000. And uh, let me tell you about the pattern guys now. Okay, see, first of all, what is the job profile? What is the job profile guys in airport, na, near airport, you have seen the very long towers. Okay, in those long towers, the students who are selected here, they sit there and they navigate, guide the pilots how to land or not how to land and when to land and about all the technicality of the things. So, pilots are in direct contact with the ATC people and they guide them about all their flight details. Now, guys, the pattern of ATC exam is total it is of 120 marks. Part A is of 60 marks where English, general intelligence, aptitude and no general knowledge will be asked of 60 marks. Okay. Now, the remaining 60 marks is from maths and physics. The part B is from maths and physics. And here when I was talking to the students who were qualified earlier, they said that few questions of engineering physics and engineering mathematics has also been asked here. That is one of the reason why the BSc is eligibility, BSc students are eligible but still 99% people, engineers are selected there. Okay, so 60 marks will be English in general intelligence, general aptitude, general knowledge of 20 plus 15 plus 15 plus 10 marks and the remaining 60 marks is of physics and mathematics. Nothing civil, nothing mechanical, nothing electrical. Total 120 marks, 2 hours. After this guys, after cutoff is around 95 marks for general category. Okay, and 7 to 8 marks less for OBC and then 11 to 12 marks less for SCST. Now, there is no negative marking. Okay, there is no negative marking here guys. After this, there is a voice modulation test also. But there, there this is just a qualifying nature. Okay, the person who will be selected after this 120 marks, if they qualify this, voice modulation test, just a qualifying nature, then all, if all the of, all of them are qualif qualified that voice modulation test, they, are, they give a paragraph and you have to read it, then all the students will be selected to ATC. Okay, so 60 plus 60, 120 marks. And uh, this is the topics that are asked in English. Okay, and these are topics that are asked in general intelligence. Okay, same as almost reasoning. Okay, aptitude is like more towards mathematics. And uh, this is general knowledge, guys and uh, this is the physics topics okay of class 11 12 and 5% questions from engineering physics also and this is for mathematics okay 
Now, if I talk about the cutoff, guys, uh, one of my student, Aditya, if you want complete detail, na, that how is the ATC, what is the work profile, then I have taken an interview of my offline student, Aditya. That interview is in the this YouTube channel only. You can see that there he clearly describes the work activity and everything about the ATC, about a person working in the ATC. So you can see this. The recent cutoff of 2022 was also 95 to 94. I'm forgetting the exact day, exact value. I just five minutes back call him and he said that it was also around in the same range. Okay. So guys, this is the golden opportunity. And guys, let me tell you one more thing that I got internally that in future also lot of vacancies will be coming in ATC department. Okay. It is under a airport authority of India. Airport Authority of India, guys, you can go directly through gate also, in which my own brother is working. Okay, that is that is Airport Authority of India in the engineering side. That is not engineering side, that is why it is uh, no physical, no civil, mechanical, electronics, computer science syllabus is there. Okay, that is, yes, engineers are eligible, 99% engineers will be selected here. But here work will be regarding the navigation, navigation of the pilot. In future, guys, lot of more vacancies will be coming in ATC department. Airport Authority of India is a huge department, engineering, ATC, HR, finance, there are various departments. So among Airport Authority of India, in ATC, in future also various posts will be coming in this segment only. The reason being because the ministry has provided some strict guidelines. This from internal sources, I am telling strict guidelines that a person should not be having a load of more than 36 or 48 hours, I'm forgetting the exact value. In 48 hours se jada load aapka nahi hona in a week. Okay. What happens in a heavy matlab, where the traffic is huge, like Delhi, Bombay, Kolkata? A person working in ATC for 6 hours, 7 hours, then he goes, suppose he's doing a morning shift today, then he will be doing evening shift tomorrow. That means a huge gap will be there between his two consecutive duties because there is so much stress level. Okay. And uh, there should not be any, any misguidance to the pilot, otherwise it can lead to a heavy crash. So between two duties, there should be a minimum of gap. In one week, there should not be more than 48 hours. Due to these strict guidelines, more people will be required here, guys. Okay, so guys, this is a golden opportunity. And I guess that you all will be grabbing this with both hands. For more detail about the work profile, do watch my interview with Aditya in the same channel. Thank you. Take care.